Pharynx, Wikipedia article audio. The pharynx is the part of the throat that is behind the mouth and nasal cavity and above the esophagus and the larynx, or the tubes going down to the stomach and the lungs. The pharynx is an organ found in vertebrates and invertebrates, though the structure is not universally the same across all of those species. Structure Nasopharynx Oropharynx Laryngopharynx Clinical Significance Inflammation Pharyngeal Cancer Valdir's tonsillar ring History Etymology Other animals Invertebrates In humans the pharynx is part of the digestive system and also of the conducting zone of the respiratory system. The pharynx makes up the part of the throat situated immediately behind the nasal cavity behind the mouth and above the esophagus and larynx. The human pharynx is conventionally divided into three sections, the nasopharynx, the oropharynx, and the laryngopharynx. It is also important in vocalization. In humans there are two sets of pharyngeal muscles that form the pharynx, determining the shape of its lumen. These are arranged as an inner layer of longitudinal muscles and an outer circular layer. The upper portion of the pharynx, the nasopharynx, extends from the base of the skull to the upper surface of the soft palate. It includes the space between the internal nares and the soft palate and lies above the oral cavity. The adenoids, also known as the pharyngeal tonsils, are lymphoid tissue structures located in the posterior wall of the nasopharynx. Valdir's tonsillar ring is an annular arrangement of lymphoid tissue in both the nasopharynx and oropharynx. Polyps or mucus can obstruct the nasopharynx, as can congestion due to an upper respiratory infection. The auditory tube, which connect the middle ear to the pharynx, opens into the nasopharynx at the pharyngeal opening of the auditory tube. The opening and closing of the auditory tube serves to equalize the barometric pressure in the middle ear with that of the ambient atmosphere. The anterior aspect of the nasopharynx communicates through the coene with the nasal cavities. On its lateral wall is the pharyngeal opening of the auditory tube, somewhat triangular in shape and bounded behind by a firm prominence, the torus tuberius or cushion, caused by the medial end of the cartilage of the tube which elevates the mucous membrane. Two folds arise from the cartilaginous opening. The oropharynx lies behind the oral cavity, extending from the uvula to the level of the hyoid bone. It opens anteriorly, through the isthmus fossium, into the mouth, while in its lateral wall, between the palatoglossal arch and the palatopharyngeal arch, is the palatine tonsil. The anterior wall consists of the base of the tongue and the epiglottic vaiacula, the lateral wall is made up of the tonsil, tonsillar fossa, and tonsillar pillars, the superior wall consists of the inferior surface of the soft palate and the uvula. Because both food and air pass through the pharynx, a flap of connective tissue called the epiglottis closes over the glottis when food is swallowed to prevent aspiration. The oropharynx is lined by non-keratinized squamous stratified epithelium. The hassock organisms are part of the normal oropharyngeal flora, which grow slowly, prefer a carbon dioxide-enriched atmosphere and share an enhanced capacity to produce endocardial infections, especially in young children. Fusobacterium is a pathogen. The laryngopharynx, also known as hypopharynx, is the caudal part of pharynx, it is the part of the throat that connects to the esophagus. 
It lies inferior to the epiglottis and extends to the location where this common pathway diverges into the respiratory and digestive pathways. At that point, the laryngopharynx is continuous with the esophagus posteriorly. The esophagus conducts food and fluids to the stomach, air enters the larynx anteriorly. During swallowing, food has the right of way, and air passage temporarily stops. Corresponding roughly to the area located between the fourth and sixth cervical vertebrae, the superior boundary of the laryngopharynx is at the level of the hyoid bone. The laryngopharynx includes three major sites, the pyriform sinus, postcricoid area, and the posterior pharyngeal wall. Like the oropharynx above it, the laryngopharynx serves as a passageway for food and air and is lined with a stratified squamous epithelium. It is innervated by the pharyngeal plexus. The vascular supply to the laryngopharynx includes the superior thyroid artery, the lingual artery and the ascending pharyngeal artery. The primary neural supply is from both the vagus and glossopharyngeal nerves. The vagus nerve provides a branch termed Arnold's nerve which also supplies the external auditory canal, thus laryngopharyngeal cancer can result in referred otalgia. This nerve is also responsible for the ear cough reflex in which stimulation of the ear canal results in a person coughing. Inflammation of the pharynx, or pharyngitis, is the painful inflammation of the throat. Pharyngeal cancer is a cancer that originates in the neck and slash or throat, and can cause serious clinical problems. Valdir's tonsillar ring is an anatomical term collectively describing the annular arrangement of lymphoid tissue in the pharynx. Valdir's ring circumscribes the naso and oropharynx, with some of its tonsillar tissue located above and some below the soft palate. It's believed that, Valdir's ring prevents the invasion of microorganisms from going into the air and food passages and this helps in the defense mechanism of the respiratory and alimentary systems. The word pharynx is derived from the Greek phyro upsilon gamma xi pharynx, meaning throat. Its plural form is pharynges slash frndiz slash or pharynxes slash frksz slash and its adjective form is pharyngeal. All vertebrates have a pharynx, used in both feeding and respiration. The pharynx arises during development in all vertebrates through a series of six or more outpocketings on the lateral sides of the head. These outpocketings are pharyngeal arches, and they give rise to a number of different structures in the skeletal, muscular, and circulatory systems. The structure of the pharynx varies across the vertebrates. It differs in dogs, horses, and ruminants. In dogs a single duct connects the nasopharynx to the nasal cavity. The tonsils are a compact mass which point away from the lumen of the pharynx. In the horse the auditory tube opens into the guttural pouch and the tonsils are diffuse and raised slightly. Horses are unable to breathe through the mouth as the free apex of the rostral epiglottis lies dorsal to the soft palate in a normal horse. In ruminants the tonsils are a compact mass which point towards the lumen of the pharynx. Pharyngeal arches are characteristic features of vertebrates whose origin can be traced back through chordates to basal deuterostomies who also share endodermal outpocketings of the pharyngeal apparatus. Similar patterns of gene expression can be detected in the developing pharynx of amphioxus and hemichordates. However, the vertebrate pharynx is unique in that it gives rise to endoskeletal support through the contribution of neural crest cells. Pharyngeal jaws are a second set of jaws contained within the pharynx of many species of fish, distinct from the primary jaws. Pharyngeal jaws have been studied in moray eels where their specific action is noted. When the moray bites prey, 
it first bites normally with its oral jaws, capturing the prey. Immediately thereafter, the pharyngeal jaws are brought forward and bite down on the prey to grip it, they then retract, pulling the prey down the eel's esophagus, allowing it to be swallowed. Invertebrates also have a pharynx. Invertebrates with a pharynx include the tardigrades, annelids, and arthropods, and the priapulids. The pharynx of the nematode worm is a muscular food pump in the head, triangular in cross-section, that grinds food and transports it directly to the intestines. A one-way valve connects the pharynx to the excretory canal. Everted pharynx of Alita virens, lateral view. Pharynx of the flatworm Prorhynchus fontanellus. Pharynx of the flatworm Platydemus monoquary visible as the worm feeds on a snail. Longitudinal section through the roundworm Sonorabditus elegans showing the position of the pharynx in the animal body. Microscopic cross section through the pharynx of a larva from an unknown lamprey species. Nose and nasal. Coronal section of right ear, showing auditory tube and levator villi palatini muscle. The entrance to the larynx, viewed from behind. Deep dissection of human larynx, pharynx, and tongue seen from behind. The nasopharynx, oropharynx, and laryngopharynx or larynx can be seen clearly in this sagittal section of the head and neck. This article incorporates text in the public domain from page 1141 of the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. The salpingopharyngeal fold, a vertical fold of mucous membrane extending from the inferior part of the torus and containing the salpingopharyngeus muscle, the salpingopalatine fold, a smaller fold, in front of the salpingopharyngeal fold extending from the superior part of the torus to the palate and containing the levator villi palatini muscle. It also contains some muscle fibers called salpingopalatine muscle. The tensor villi palatini is lateral to the levator and does not contribute to the fold, since the origin is deep to the cartilaginous opening. Pharynx, Stedman's Online Medical Dictionary at Lippincott Williams and Wilkins. Human Anatomy and Physiology Elaine and Marib and Katya Hone, 7th edition, TNM Classification of Malignant Tumors Sobin LH and Witkin CH 6th edition UICC 2002 ISBN 0-471-22288-7 General